Let me have a beer. What can I do for you now, John? This thing you call a marriage. It's over. I don't understand. Drop the act. I know all about you. So it ends tonight. You're going to be practicing your crazy act in jail for a long, long time. Alone to my wife. I'm talking to you. Get out of my way. Shut up and listen. I'm going to lay out a few simple instructions you're going to follow. And if I don't, you don't want to find out. John. Oh, God. Yeah. Lay off. I mean it. This has nothing to do with you, Natalie. Please leave it alone. Miles and I are friends, and I'm going to stand here and be his friend and ask you to give him some breathing room. That's very nice, but this is between me and him. And I guess you should have sought him out in private instead of a room full of people. I mean, what are you biting his head off about anyway? Apparently, John doesn't approve of my taste in wives. So you're giving me a hard time about Marty. You don't know what you're talking about, Natalie. No, Miles, don't worry about it. He's just got a little crush on her. All right, let's leave it alone. You know, it, it's okay, Natalie. I'm fine. I appreciate your concern. John and I are having a reasonable conversation. Nothing anybody needs to get worked up over. Okay. Stay around if you need me. Thank you. John. You holding something over her, too? I come by all my relationships, honestly. Let me tell you something. I find out Natalie so much has stubbed a toe when you're around, I'll rip your heart out with my bare hands. Now, as far as this marriage goes, it doesn't. You get it annulled. I don't care how you do it, just get it done. Yeah, and if I don't, it'll be your worst nightmare. Slightest idea what the hell you're going the on about. used to blackmail Marty. I know all about it. Oh, yeah, that tape. She told you. Marty had nothing to do with it. Truth be told, she's still protecting you. I have no idea why. Maybe she loves me. Good one. Then again, it doesn't really matter what Marty did or didn't say. I found the tape from her session with Dr. Young. Or should I say the one you switched out with a blank tape? You know, this tape that you keep going on about? Mm -hmm. I don't know anything about it. Why is it so important? Oh, wait. Could it be the fact that Marty killed Spencer Truman? No, how would you know that if you didn't have the tape? My wife and I, we have no secrets. Really? Mm. She was terrified that she'd be found out and she'd lose her son. So I told her I would protect her any way I could. See, after all, we're deeply in love with one another. And it was Marty's idea to get married. You see, I wouldn't be forced to testify against her if it all came out. Keep talking. The more you battle, the deeper the hole you dig. I'm telling you the truth, John. Even if what I say is different from what Marty says, it's her word against mine. Who are the people going to believe, John? A simpleton or murderer? Now that you know that Marty killed Spencer... How much longer until you arrest her? I don't know. Is that what you want for Marty to be arrested? John, what is this really about? Is everything okay out here? I got everything well in hand. Okay. Good night, Miles. Good night. Bye, John. You look pretty. Don't even look at her. Okay, Lieutenant. You've gotten everything out in the open. Time I did the same. It's Miles Lawrence, Commissioner. I'm sorry to call you at this hour. What I have to say can't wait. Let's hear it. I have important information for you about Spencer Truman's murder. 